They are the stars of one of HGTV's most popular shows, Flip or Flop. Tarek and Christina El Musa are a husband and wife team that flip homes in Southern California while balancing marriage and two kids. But the couple's personal lives began to overshadow their hit show in December as trouble in their marriage made headlines. We'll speak to Tarek in a moment in his first live TV interview since his split from Christina. But first, his story. For nearly four years, HGTV's Flip or Flop has been entertaining viewers with eye-catching home transformations. Hosts Tarek and Christina El Musa bringing to each episode their real estate expertise. What are we going to list it for? Okay, well, here, we Along with a glimpse of their real lives as husband and wife and parents to two young children. <laughs> It's a TV show, but it's also our life. So this is what we do all day, every day on a daily basis. We buy, fix, and sell houses. But the image of their picture-perfect marriage began to crumble this past year. In May, according to Orange County Police, Christina called 911 after Tarek was seen leaving their home with a handgun, heading for some hiking trails nearby. Deputies located Tarek and escorted him back to the house where he told them he wanted to blow off some steam and took the gun for safety because of mountain lions and rattlesnakes in the area. In December, Tarek and Christina announced their separation after seven years of marriage, though both stars and their network remain committed to the show. Last month, HGTV telling us it respects any decision that Tarek and Christina make about their personal relationship. Flip or Flop will continue to air as scheduled. And while Tarek filed for divorce in January, he and Christina are busy filming season seven of Flip or Flop together, each sharing happy photos from set this past week, proving that while their marriage may have ended, the show will go on. We want to mention we reached out to Christina for comment, but she declined at this time. And Tarko Musa is here with us uh, this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you doing? We're good. We're good. We were just talking off camera. We all have children. I think most importantly, how are your kids? Your daughter is six years old. Your son is 18 months. How are they doing? You know what? They're doing absolutely fantastic. Um, they're getting accustomed to the new situation. Uh, most important thing is Christina's being a great mom. I'd like to think of being a great dad. So we're really supportive. We're spending as much time as possible with them. And uh, Taylor, she's doing great. And uh, Brayden's a little young. So. Sure, yeah. sure. And you're in the middle of, of, of taping season seven. So yes. how difficult is that? I mean, to, to be partners on screen, but off screen, there's all this tension plus the added pressure you know everybody else knows about. You know, we, we've been flipping houses, and not only flipping houses, but we've been doing it on TV for a very, very long time. Um, so, like anything, there's going to be um, challenges, right? But through this entire process, me and Christina are professional. We know we have a job to do, and uh, we love what we do, and we want to deliver a good product to our fans. So, um, through this process, I feel like we've done a really good job. Your show has such a huge fan base. Will it go beyond season seven? You know, right now we are filming season seven. Season six is on the air. And uh, that's our hope. We're hoping to continue shooting the show. So you want to keep going as, as, as long as you can take this? Absolutely. We love what we do. We've been doing it a long mm -hmm. time. And um, that's our job. You know, we don't want to just stop doing our job. So we're, we're looking uh, on moving forward, yeah. You know, uh, we, we mentioned in, in the story that uh, Chanel just did, there was that incident involving the gun. Do you want to just clear that up once and for all? I would absolutely love to clear that okay. up. Uh, here, here it is. I live in Yorba Linda, California. We back to Chino Hill State Park. We have big wildlife, we have mountain lions, bobcats. I mean, there's major wildlife back there. I have a CCW, which is a, a California concealed carry, which means I'm legally able to carry a firearm. Threw the firearm in my backpack, a couple bottles of water, went on a hike, uh, and from there, the rest is history. And you know what happened. Did you, when, you know, the phrase blow off some steam and people were saying that you were running with the gun. So was all of that just gossip? Was that not true? It's absolute gossip. I was hiking in the mountains, you know, I was by myself. The sun was going to be going down soon. I mean, why wouldn't I go out with protection if I've legally gone through the courses to be able to do so? Yeah, well, let, let's turn to something else that's probably more important. You're a cancer survivor. You had thyroid cancer. But at the same time, uh, you're battling another kind of cancer. Yeah, this is actually the first time the world's going to find out. Um, I did battle thyroid cancer in 2013. Literally a month after I found out I had thyroid cancer, I was at the hospital and they say, hey, I hate to tell you, you have testicular cancer. Um, so the second I heard I had testicular cancer, knowing I already had thyroid cancer, mm. I thought I was going to die. I mean, I thought I was, I was rotting inside and I was, I was so scared to lose my family. So why did you decide to talk about it now? 
we can understand why at the time it was personal. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely more of a personal cancer than thyroid cancer. Um, I just want to make people aware of it. So right now, my stepfather was just diagnosed. He went through surgery, and um, he's going through chemotherapy right now. He was a super healthy guy. He, he lost all his hair. He's lost about 20 to 30 pounds, and it really hit close to home. And I do know with my thyroid cancer, a lot of people reached out, and they told me, hey, if it wasn't for you exposing your cancer, I never would have known that I had cancer. So we helped a lot of people. We have, you, a, go ahead. Go, no, we have a little bit of time left. You know, I was thinking this morning, you can't go to the grocery store these days without seeing your face or your, you know, your ex-wife's face on the cover of all the magazines in the checkout. There are rumors all over the place. Everybody's obsessed with you two. In this moment, what do you want people to know? Well, first of all, when I walk through the magazine stands, I just cover my face so nobody could see me. Has that ever <laughs> happened where you're at the checkout and they say, Oh, absolutely. So you kind of look like that guy. I'm like, yeah, I get that all the time. Uh. Um, so I'm sorry. So, you know, there's so much weird gossip and fake news out there. Uh, I try to ignore as much as I can. And uh, I'm really just focusing on my kids, number one, myself and my future. And I'm really excited about my future. I'm, I'm moving forward on my own. Anything you want people to know? I want people to know that no matter what happens, the most important thing, not only for myself, but for Christina, is to co-parent and do what's right for our kids. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Well, Tariq, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We wish you best Very of nice luck. Very nice to meet you. All you. Take care. Give those kids a kiss. All right. I Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.